Hello, back again, back again, back again. Uh, you have to excuse the blue. I am not a perp. <laughs> Just coincidentally wore blue and I decided to make this video. Oh, we got company. Here, boy. Found this old abandoned road that's like blocked off, so I come down here and walk my dog. Pretty legit. First time I ever seen somebody like on a motor vehicle out here. Um, but anyway, back to the video. So, wanted to record this, um, and my thoughts today are about this self replicating matrix, which is not a new idea. Uh, it goes along the lines of your thoughts manifest your reality. And what you think creates, what you think creates what you experience, right? And I had an experience today, I guess, that put this on my mind. And um, I noticed that, you know, I'd, I'd, uh, I noticed that I'd gone several places and seen people smoking cigarettes. And I'm trying not to smoke cigarettes, right? So it just was like, I tried to ignore it, you know, uh, for the sake of not thinking about it. And it kind of got me in this mindset of thinking of this hypothetical situation, of course. Um, hmm. A hypothetical situation that, you know, what if the world were this type of matrix that were constantly uh, creating itself based off of like our collective consciousness and what you think can manifest before you? And perhaps this system had been infiltrated or always designed by some force that wanted to twist that, you know, and make it so that it's not necessarily what you think that comes to you, but some odd variation, um, especially if it's a negative thought, right? Like it's, it's faster to, to manifest negativity than it is to manifest positivity, which I don't think is the way that it should be. Or maybe not the way that it was intended to be. But it seems like that is where our world is going now. Hypothetically, right? This is just a... I'm just taking you on a, a journey, right? Imagine with me. Uh, so, one thing I I, I do want to... Um, one experience that I noticed... I walked to a spider web. One experience that I noticed that kind of goes along with this thought. Not to say that it has any meaning or anything. It's just a coincidence. But it it's... It goes along with what I'm saying, so I bring it up. Um, I was driving along, and after I noticed someone with a cigarette in their mouth, and uh, I thought to myself, you know, if I could manifest people smoking cigarettes because my thoughts are on cigarettes or the desire to smoke one, what else could I manifest? And I tried to think of the craziest thing possible, right? Again, this is all just coincidence and hypothetical conversation. But attempting to think of the craziest thing possible to see, you know, just just for fun. And I imagine to myself, uh, what if there was a couple having sex on the side of the road, right? Just the craziest thing I could possibly come up with. Just for shits and giggles, you know? And just kept it pushing. Well, later I'm walking my dog, probably like 10 minutes later. I'm walking my dog. And as we're walking, we're going through this park, and there's like this little stream, there's like this creek. And over here. And as we're walking, uh, there's this stream. And in the stream, there is a couple. Okay, I can't make this up. It's actually really, it's, it's really funny. But it goes along with what I'm saying. Again, hypothetically, a matrix that manifests the things that you think of. Um, Especially like when you when you think that it can't happen, right? And then it happens. So um, we're walking along the stream, and there's a couple, and I glance over, and the couple's in the water, and I notice for a second that the woman is topless, and that her breasts are exposed, and and that the dude don't have no shirt on either. And I, I look over, and I'm, I'm kind of like, you know how I hit you, and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't see what I think I just saw, right? And I look back over, and I'm like, no, I definitely am seeing what I think I'm seeing. Like, they really are naked in this stream right now, okay? I mean, grown-ass people, too. And so I look again, and I'm trying to understand what I'm seeing. 
and they're taking uh, photos, like birthing photos. I guess she's pregnant, right? And they're taking like birthing photos in this stream, which to me didn't seem like a good idea. It's like a dirty ass stream in the middle of the city. But anyway, to each his own. But it just brings me back to the concept of it's strange that I thought to myself, you know, coincidentally, I should say, it's not strange, it's just coincidental, that I'd be able to think to myself something like, you know, a couple screwing on the side of the road, and then some variation of that does manifest into reality, where I then see uh, a couple half naked, you know, um, grasping each other on the side of the road in this creek. And I just wonder what else, you know, we could be creating unconsciously uh, in our reality if if it were such a situation, right? So if we were in such a situation where, you know, we're walking around and we're thinking whatever it is we're thinking and we're going through our daily lives and we're going through our struggles and that maybe this machine at times is using that against us, right? Because what it can do, again, hypothetical, what this hypothetical machine could do uh, is create thoughts within you to then manifest more of its power around you, right? So if you are in control of your thoughts, you are therefore in control of your perception and what you encounter and what you experience, and you could manifest positive things into your life, though it likely is much more difficult to manifest positivity than negativity. Um, but let's say that there was some force using that ability of manifestation and creation for other means. And I guess this is my point, is that it could be used for nefarious purposes, right? It could use um, things like subliminal messages and, you know, encounters um, to make you have the desired thought that this machine wants you to have so that you then manifest the reality that this machine wants you to experience. Um, for instance, you know, if we were to bring up like harassment or stalking, um, if you were to focus on that experience or take in and identify with harassment and stalking, then you likely uh, subconsciously are therefore manifesting more stalking and harassment. Right. Like if you're walking around and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to see uh, I'm going to see somebody staring at me or I'm going to see like a red car. Um, it's possible that we subconsciously and unintentionally therefore manifest that into our lives even further. Right. And give this machine more power than it actually has. <sighs> So, I don't know. Just things that I noticed. Um, the couple things was really hilarious. It was actually funny. Um, and just to add on to that, I, you know, also had a thought. I was like, after that, after I saw the couple, I was like, man, I'm going to really just kind of play with this a little bit, you know. And I was thinking, like, uh, next I'm going to run into three girls, right? Like, three chicks. And while I was walking, I did not, you know, run into anybody. Um, and I'm going to bring up another thought here in a second, but as I returned to my car, there were three motorcyclists just coincidentally, uh, pulling into the parking lot and parked behind my car. And as I'm going to get in the car, I look and they're all, all three of them are women. And, um, I'm like these cool ass, like Kawasaki too. Uh, but it was just, was, it was funny to me. It was just like, again, another variation, right? Like, I didn't run into three women while I was walking, but still encountered like three women on motorbikes uh, at the end of my walk, you know? And so it just goes to show you that like, it doesn't really go to show you anything. Again, it's coincidental and hypothetical. Uh, but again, like, it just almost paints a picture that perhaps something is able to listen to your thoughts, right? Hypothetically, let's say this machine could hear your thoughts, that this system could hear your thoughts, could feel your energy, your vibration, and thus create what you are experiencing internally 
or contemplating internally and created in your physical world. And I mean, that, that can go deeper and deeper, right? Because all that we are truly experiencing is like light, right? And light allows us to experience the world around us uh, through our senses. And in reality, I mean, all that exists is the internal. And the internal is represented through the external. And so the more that you focus on attempting to conquer and control the internal, the more control you will have on the external and what you experience. So be careful what you give your power to, you know, and um, just try to find peace and find balance in your thoughts. Good luck.